I'm going to be showing the electric eel wheel yarn counter case today. This is a 3D printed case and I'm sharing the files for free. I'm also sharing the Fusion 360 files which I use to design this so that if people want to modify the design some, uh, that's perfectly acceptable. I'm sure there'll also be people selling this if you don't have a 3D printer or don't have access to one and just want to purchase it. Uh, I'll share links to information on how to get it printed by someone else and uh, also the files in the show description. But uh, basically the way it works is uh, first you can put the angle boat in the bottom and I've got a little clip in the bottom to sort of hold it in place there. Uh, there's a little post down here that you can just slide the wing nut on like that and then you put the yarn counter in like this, and I've got plenty of room for the hooks. And the last piece that goes in is the clamp portion, and that's all there is to it. Uh, if you, you know, just store it like this, you're good. If you want to hold things in place, you could use maybe a rubber band or some other fastening mechanism. I did think about putting little hooks on the top. Uh, or maybe making another piece that fits around that. Uh, that's sort of why I decided to share the Fusion 360 files because I think it works really great this way and I'm happy with this design, but if people want to try other alternatives, uh, there's a lot of you know things you could do with this and uh, it's out there. Also, if you have ideas, uh, certainly suggest them and maybe other people take the inspiration or maybe I will too, but I'm not not committing to making any other versions at, at this time. I just thought I'd uh, share what I've got here. Uh, of course, the yarn counter is pretty durable. I mean, there's not too much stuff here that's going to, you know, break easily. So if you just want to store it in a cloth bag or, you know, just carry it around and store it maybe in the cardboard box that it came in, that would also work fine. But for those of you who want sort of a custom case that holds your yarn counter, uh, I thought this was a pretty, you know, easy design and it, it, it's very easy to 3D print. It takes a little while because it's kind of big, but there's no supports or anything required. So it's a pretty easy print for most 3D printers. Thanks for watching.